Uh, so without further ado, I, uh, this woman behind me is going to play for you. Uh, I've heard her been described as great gutsy roots music, so you're in for a treat. How about it for our not so young host, Andrea? <laughs> my name is Robbie Mays. This is my good friend Chris Saywell. Please put your hands together for him. We're going to play you tunes for about an hour, and if you're sick of us and you walk away, I'll be upset. Let me make it easy on you. I got nothing left to lose. Let me make it easy on you. I got nothing left to do. Talked like crazy. Do you have anything for this mic? Yeah. Yeah, pretty badly. I'm gonna probably explode.
much food around us. I'm so hungover if I ate one of these things I'd, I wouldn't be able to play for you guys right now. I'd have to just go lie down or discover the lovely por porta potties on Kennedy. Straight for you. It's right there if you need to use the washroom after you've had something to eat. This next song is a tune called Something Going On because it looks like summer's still going on here. 
I feel like we haven't, you know, September's just a month. I feel like we're still summering. We're still summering, right? We're still summering. Three people agree. Whatever, you're in t-shirts, you're summering. <laughs> Meanwhile, speaking of summer, it has nothing to do with summer. I have some CDs up here at the edge of the, uh, at the, edge of the stage. I'm not very, uh, very particular about how much I get for them. If you have a toonie, a cute kid wants to walk up, grab mm -hmm. a CD. If you don't have any money on you and you want a CD, take one. But only wait till the end for, you know, the people that have money. Make sure the money people get it first. You know what I mean? If you want to really, actually, if you have like a $5 bill, you can grab a CD. If you have a $10 bill, you can grab a CD. A 20, you know, grab a CD. If you have a 20, you can grab a CD. A 20 would be great if you want to grab a CD. If you had a 50, grab a CD. Anyway, you get my point. They're here, I'm not taking them home. Just grab one anytime through the set. They're right here. There's two different kinds. One was Juno nominated. My mouth is still getting completely shot. Two shit. My face is getting electrified. Didn't need any more electricity. Yes, Chris. Chris says, like the dead at Woodstock. <laughs> their excuse so this song is called something going on one of the greatest drummers I know in the city in the in the country let alone the country maybe our continent is in town um, visiting his family and he's over there ladies and gentlemen Jeff Hicks put your hands in the air Jeff Hicks I haven't seen him in years and he's here to watch me and tell me later all the things I did wrong he really is incredible. It's good to see you, Jeff. Did I embarrass you? Love you. I'm just trying to kill time, actually, to be totally honest. All right, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I was getting... Nope, we're not. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just not sing. I won't touch the mic. I've got herpes anyway. I'm just kidding, I don't. But if it was, if I did, then that would be like, I'm okay, I can say that. It's like I'm a Jew, so I can make all the Jew jokes I want, but you can't.
people come on the best neighbors ever best neighbors ever I moved so I miss them but they still love me see the love this song is called sweet something steady from such bands as the D-Rangers, one of the best bands in our city. And he's in a really good, what is the name of your Grateful Dead cover band? Just the Grateful Dead cover band? Dead On? Don't call it that. That's, you sang with, she sang with Warrant. She sang with Charlie Major, she says. She sang with Michelle Wright. Do you want to tell everybody or? Oh, well, we'll stop it there. We're good. <laughs> All right. A little song called Heavy Heart. I think we played this one, Jeff, at the Opry.
Uh, this, on the way here, the promoter was walking with us and he said, well, if you want any beer tickets, come find me after. And I said, oh, I'm so hungover. I couldn't possibly even think of a beer. Now I'm just like looking, I want a beer so bad right now. So if anyone wants to buy me a beer, I'll pay them back. Um, I'm not kidding. Help. <laughs> 911. Starting to fade. <laughs> okay, great. We're on a song called Devil on Both Shoulders. Devil on Both Shoulders was the title track, is the title track of my 2015 album. We don't usually do this without the band, so we'll see how this goes. Nope, I don't. Aw, you're sweet. What do you do when the world starts calling your name? What do you do when everybody's feeling the same? What can you do when you want to shake it up?
Mexican yellow beer. That's me. That's my. That's me. I'm a yellow Mexican beer. She looks at me. You're Mexican. I'm a white Jew from East Kildonan, lady. Doesn't get any whiter than that. Yeah, I got a little bit of tan this summer. In Italy, they think I'm Italian, though. But I think it's the schnoz. So yeah, I was just telling her, she's, this is my favorite thing though about when people request music and it's not yours. I, I play original music, so it's like, you sound great. Do you know how to play this? Which is not a bad thing to ask somebody, it's not bad. But my worst part about it is if you do do one cover, which is I'm about to do one cover song right now, and then at the end of the set, somebody says to you, my favorite one was that one. It's like I sang 13 other songs that I wrote, lady. This song's called Can't Let Go. It's a Lucinda Williams tune. I really like it, so we're just going to do it. Just 
verse and let the song roll. Now I forget the first verse. It is whatever, I'm just gonna sing whatever I want. Here I am on the stage. Everybody's looking, but I don't know the words, so I'm gonna just keep singing it all. Chris Saywell, he's a pretty good guy. He plays guitar and I like it when he does. And I know it and I can't let go. So much. So here's the uh, 2011 title track of an album I did. Some of you might have been there at the West End Cultural Center in 2011. There you go, those two wonderful people. Right there, right there. We got four, how many? We have four or five. Or hey, blah, 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 blah. This song is called Lucky Tonight. It is the title track of that album we did on live. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Who gets lucky tonight? Let's find out. For children, it means who's Santa? Is Santa coming? Is Santa, are we gonna get lucky tonight? And then for the adults who don't get it, you're probably not getting lucky tonight. Sweet my hips 
myself, my faith in mankind. You just come up and grab one. I've offered them for a toonie. A loony, a toonie, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you want. Fifty, a hundred. Twenty, 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 maybe twenty. There are CDs right here. I'm not leaving, taking them when I go. Come on up and grab one anytime. When, I, when I'm done this set, I'm walking away. It's your only chance now. I'll forever hold your 20. I'm coming closer, don't be afraid. Know all the games that the other girls play. Make it real easy, make it all right. Anytime I'm singing or anything like that too, don't worry about being couth. Give them both. Give them both, Andrea. Give both. Just come on up anytime. I love it. Thank you. Let's skip the I don't have that one here. Sorry, I have no more left. Uh, no! <laughs> I play my own music. Well, I know the song. Do a little song here where Chris plays guitar and I just look good. I look so good in my head, in my mind, the way I feel like I look. Thank you very much. I could just make him do this for a really long time and not sing.
thanks everybody. Another title track from a 2009 album. We have that album here. This was the album that I went to St. John's Newfoundland for because I was nominated for a Juno. Thank you. It was very cool. CBC was doing a lot of interviews with me at the time. And I went to the Junos. There's like two, what people don't always know is there's kind of two nights of the Junos. One night's for people like me. <laughs> and then one night's for people like Justin Timberlake or whatever, you know, who are like Justin Bieber, like the night where they're like, the big awards are the ones you see on TV. And then the night before there's like, like Roots album of the year, country album of the year, website of the year, and like all the stuff that's kind of secondary, but still really proud, we could be proud of. So I went to my night and then the next night, you know, there's the red carpet and we're gonna do the red carpet thing. But we stopped at a bar called the Duke of Duckworth and we never left. And by the end of the night, I was dubbed the Duchess of Duckworth in an official ceremony. And CBC was doing the interview with me. They're like, Rami, how are the Junos? And I was like, I don't know. I didn't go, but I'm the Duchess of Duckworth. So there's a little story for you to tell your children at night. You guys, usually at the end of that, you guys like it, but then there was just silence. So I didn't really know what to do with it. Just tell your children. Tell them all I was funny. So here's the title track of that album. It's called Aching in Your Bones. It's about a 40 hour bus ride from Vancouver on the Greyhound. Don't do it. Not that you can anymore.
40 hours ache in your bones This one's a bit of a sing-along, and I can tell you're just dying to sing. You know it. But the good news is that you look stupid when you don't sing, so come on, everybody. Well, actually, when I was in Italy, if you were the one who wasn't singing, you were the one, actually the one who looked stupid. Just letting you know. So feel free to sing along. This song is called Long Way Home. So you are going to say the words. There are way more people that didn't speak just now. You are going to say... One more time. All right, I like it, I like it. We'll get, we'll get there. This song's called... seem so mean no more When you're standing at the dance, no one talking about romance, taking second glances at the door. Alright, it goes like this. It's a long way home. That's your part. We see the finish line. It's further all the time. Alright, here we go. for a minute you all kind of look like no summer's been long we started our work week heavy this week not gonna say i'm gonna have a sip of beer let's all have a cheers together shall we cheers to jeff and i don't know the other person who bought us that beer that was very kind now i have two and he's got one more than i ever asked for cheers everybody thanks to many for having us
We've got Matt on sound. Give you put your hands together for Matt on sound right here. I think he's Australian. So you can't understand him. So you just nod and be polite. Unless you're from Canada, I don't get it. Okay, I'm just kidding. That's not me at all. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. This song's called If the Lord Don't Love You. And I'm not trying to say that the Lord doesn't. I'm not even trying to say there is or is not a Lord. But if there is a Lord and he doesn't find you that great, I'll still like you. So there's some uh, something to write home about. Hey, it's okay, God. Rami liked me while I was alive. Might come in handy one day. I might, you might be maybe be friends. I'm a good friend to have. Am I a good friend? Yeah, I'm a good friend. See? So this will be our last song. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for sticking around and watching the show. It's sure been lovely. It's a beautiful night. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. It's just gorgeous out. I'm gonna take these two beers and sit like in the porta potties. Weep myself into a piss or something. Double. That's, that's my new album. It's called Double Fisting. It no, it's terrible. Oh, I actually was starting to speak it and realize how it was going wrong so fast. But double fisting in a porta potty does have a ring to it. Come on. <laughs>
Folk Festival stage. There's more live music uh, over at the Lakeside Lounge stage tonight. We have Jive Town uh, trading sets with DJ K Cheda dance party. Uh, so it should be a great time. Wonder shows all night, food trucks, of course. We have a market uh, and so much more. And we're back here tomorrow starting at 1 p.m. Thanks so much.